Health Minister Aaron Mazzoledi has described the first vaccine manufactured end-to-end -end in South Africa after a 50-year hiatus as a milestone that will ensure citizens are not left behind should another pandemic strike. The minister reflected on the challenges the country faced in securing vaccines during the COVID-19 pandemic. He says the locally developed oral cholera vaccine makes a significant step in reclaiming the country's ability to protect its citizens. The COVID-19 pandemic exposed the dangers of this dependence where access to life-saving vaccines was often determined not by need, but by geography and global inequities. Today, we take a decisive step towards changing that story. We're changing our own story and writing our new chapter in history. Building local vaccine manufacturing capability is not just a luxury. It is a national necessity. It strengthens our sovereignty, enhances our health security, and ensures that our people are not left behind. Mutualedi's team members celebrated the milestone. Providing care and support. This vaccine then is a response to that pain. It is a proactive step to ensure that no community in South Africa or on the continent is left vulnerable to such a deadly but preventable disease. For the communities like Hammanskral, for our informal settlements and for our communities across Africa, this vaccine offers new hope. BioVac, in partnership with the South African Medical Research Council, began developing the vaccine that has now entered its first clinical trial phase in 2022. The cholera vaccine project, once it's licensed, is important to South Africa, even though South Africa has small outbreaks of cholera. It does two things. The first thing that it does is that uh, it prepares us for outbreaks and pandemics. So whilst we don't have a, a big uh, cholera outbreak, but we need to be pandemic ready, we need to be outbreak ready. So when the next pandemic, this really would be a test about whether we can develop products from scratch and we can be able to be pandemic ready. That's the first thing that it does. The second thing that it, it will, this product will really be destined for areas where a cholera is endemic. Participants in the clinical trial say they have not experienced any adverse side effects so far. No uh, after effects, uh, the taste buds do okay, doesn't kill the taste buds, it was fine. Originally I'm from Bush Park Ridge, so I do know people who do share water with animals, so I know a few people do, that have been affected by this corella. Its manufacturers say they are targeting markets beyond South Africa, while local government officials maintain that the provision of clean drinking water remains a national priority. Banit Lemtetwa, SABC News, Johannesburg.